Hello everyone! Welcome to episode 1 of the Star Wars Yoda Republic Let's Play. So, we're gonna just start our character. Uh, this is, I'm actually looking forward to this. This is my first Let's Play ever. Um, RuneScape doesn't really lend itself to Let's Plays, in my opinion, very, very well. I mean, you can do them, but I don't feel like they're that great, to be honest. But I think that a game that's really linear and story-driven like this, it's, it'll be a lot easier. So, I have my sounds turned off except for the vocal ones, mostly because I feel like they're more distracting to commentary than anything. And, yeah, but I'm going to keep quiet for the most part while NPCs are talking, just so you guys can kind of follow along. I'll probably put in my every a comment every once in a while, but it shouldn't be too bad. I'm hoping that the NPC volume uh, isn't too loud uh, in post. The last one to arrive is finally here. I hope you don't think you're special. I do, though. It Sorry. It's a shame if freedom went to your head. Or if you somehow got the idea you didn't need to pass your trials to become Sith. Well, considering I intend Lord on passing Zash them, has tasked you know. me with sorting through you refuse to find one worthy of being her apprentice. And I intend to do just that. Don't get all sentimental on us. We've only just met. I won't. Now the rest of you gutter trash already know your trial. I will say that Harkin is a dick, so we're going to be as mean to him as possible. <laughs> Watch your back, friend. But I'm not going to do too much worry. spoilers. It'll be all right. He can't kill us all. A Sith fears no one. Suit yourself. Now, slave, for your trial. There's a hermit named Spindrol who lives in the tomb of a Junta Paul in the Valley of the Dark Lords. Spindrol's a lunatic. But Lord Zash sees him as some kind of prophet. Once you find him, he will test you. Fine. I will seek the insane hermit in the incredibly dangerous tomb and take his little test. But there. You know your task. Spindrel lives in the tomb of a Junta Paul in the Valley of the Dark Lords. Don't keep Spindrel waiting, slave. Harkin likes to remind us that we're a slave all the time, so yeah, that's awesome. Anyways, we're going to do a couple things before we jump into story, mostly kind of rejig my action bar to put things where I'm used to them. That doesn't go there. There's that. Um, so yeah, so we're going to just f real quick fi fix my hotkeys and that kind of stuff. So anyways, I'm like I said, I'm looking forward to this. I think it's going to be a lot of fun for everybody. I hope it doesn't lag too much. Um, Fraps kind of sometimes does things that I don't like in terms of it doesn't lag the game, but then when you look, when you're doing commentary and you look at the clips afterwards, it lags and it's, it's annoying, really. It's just like, why is that a thing? Whoops. A-R-F-T. Whoops. Um, but it's annoying and, but there, at the end of the day, there's not too much I can really do about it besides, you know, um, either re-recording it, but I don't really want to do that because that's a lot of effort to re-record stuff and just, yeah, it just, it's annoying. Particularly annoying, but uh, sometimes that happens. So, there are, there probably are going to be in this thing clips um, that do a lot of skipping and I can't, there's not too much I can do about that besides just get a new computer, which I obviously don't have the money for right now, so... Otherwise, I mean, I totally would. At some point, once I get enough money, I do want to buy a... I want to get a... An actual gaming rig. A gaming computer. I think that'll make YouTube and stuff a lot easier. Um, because, obviously, my... My computer is not the best. It's okay, but like I said, it's not... It's not amazing, particularly. It's kind of just... It's okay. I got it for school... And I, unconsequently, it's better than my old machine, so I just do everything on this one. In fact, I'm going to be getting rid of my old machine soon, just because it's not really worth using. So I'm going to, I'm probably just going to like, I'm going to get rid of it. So that that's a thing as well. We're going to be getting rid of my old computer. So I do want it, but like I said, I do at some point want to get a new one, like an actual gaming computer that, you know, my laptop is good, but, or it's not great, but it's okay. And I can do stuff on it, but, you know, it's just not the best. So, one thing about this Let's Play is that I am not going to do... Team. I'm not going to do side quests. I don't... I usually don't easy. nowadays. 
they changed the the way that you did things so you don't have to do side quests to be appropriately leveled for the zone anymore. You used to have to do side quests Sometimes to be leveled for a, a zone or whatever so you're not just under leveled for the entire zone. But they changed it so all you, you only have to do the main quest, like your storyline quest, and your your the planet quest. So like this yeah, this this is a quest symbol right here for those of you who are unaware this is a quest symbol and it's yellow which means it's a side quest which means i don't have to do it if at some point i decide to do a another let's play if this one goes over well i might do another one and then we might do side quests but uh Worthy i think that disciple. for my first one i'm not gonna do side quests because i don't really think that they're worth doing you get a little bit in terms of xp and sometimes you get like gear or crystals or whatever but usually they're not super super worth doing because I plan on getting it on using that adaptive gear and just buying basically the the in, in inserts for that to keep my gear level appropriate rather than having to just grab the grab gear from like quests and stuff so that's what I'm going to be doing rather than you know so I don't really need to do the side quests it would give me some extra common data crystals which you use to buy those but um, I th I'm pretty sure you get enough from just like your your class missions and your story missions. I'm pretty Take sure. A nap. So I'm not like 100% sure, but I th I think so. So we're gonna go this way because this is a thing. But anyways, anyway, like I said, I'm looking forward Nothing to this. I think personal. it's gonna be a lot of fun for everybody. I hope, at least I hope. Um, we actually gonna do something real quick. Forgot to. Do I do this here? I, I can just do this here. So we're going to set my guy to damage rather than to healing. Healing, you pretty much use your companion for healing throughout most of the game because they keep you alive. It's really, it's really just what you do. But I think the first planet, I think the DPS is worth the sacrificing healing because you're not, you're, you don't, there's not too much of a fear of dying in the first planet at all. You don't really die. So I think the DPS will just help ah, it go faster. An alien acolyte. Unusual, but not unexpected. The Sith are not friendly to your kind. In other words, the Sith are racist. We all knew that, though. I like, they like humans, and that's kind you of it. You are here for your trial, yes? Learn the ways of the Sith from a doddering old man in a tomb. And hopefully to return to your master with the mark of my approval. Yes, my lord. That's right. Of course it is. I know the way of things on the surface. But before I answer either way, you must pass a trial of blood. Survive, and I will teach you what I know. Basically, all these acolytes are going to get shit on. Too bad for them, I guess, really. Okay. So, defeat Spindle's acolytes. So, basically, this is really easy with a DPS companion. The DPS companion does almost, easy. if not more, damage Big than I mistake. do. So... Um, he's probably, he's gonna be carrying me pretty hard. Pretty sure, so, that's a thing. Nothing personal. Boop. Well, that so there's that, good. that was, like I said, pretty easy. Like I said, with the, with the DPS companion, things go a little bit quicker than if you were, like, using a healing or a tank companion. Excellent. Or a, on tank These or heal mode, These former acolytes wanted nothing more than to earn their second chance for glory by killing you used to be. and taking your place. But your desire proved stronger, and their blood became the mantle of your victory. Well done. But you are not Sith yet. Not yet. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, power. Through power, victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. Is that Sith code? This I feel like the Sith, Sith code, code makes a lot more sense than the Jedi Omitted code. Like it's a lot more reasonable. Heart, but, I mean, maybe that's just me. You have the strength to crush your enemies. Do you understand? Of course. 
I was born to be Sith. You were actually born to be God. a Jedi because you were born like on a Republic controlled world, Return so you would have been a Jedi otherwise. Not but, you know, we'll ignore him. that. And use your fear of him to grow stronger. He may raise his fist to strike, but it is Lord Zash who determines where the blow will land. But who controls Zash, I wonder? When you know the answer to that, you will have power over both your masters. Now, go. Leave me to my rest. Okay, so we gotta go to Harkin. Um, I wonder, can I quick travel there yet? No, I haven't unlocked quick travel yet. Anyways, we'll do that later. Quick travel is really helpful later on. Because basically you can just go do your quest and you don't have to like run all the way back. You can just quick travel back. It's kind of like on RS, it's like lodestoning. Except... Um, this has a, I think a five or six minute cooldown, I think, something like that. Six minute cooldown. So it's kind of annoying, but you know, it, that's, it's not too bad. I think the cooldown actually used to be like half an hour or something. So that used to be really, in my opinion, that used to be really unreasonable. Take so, nap. looks like that guy is an assassin who was hiding or stealthing. That's one of the, one of the few things that I prefer about assassins over sorcerers is that they can stealth. So you can skip a lot of the trash mobs, but at the same time, like, I, I kind of like killing trash mobs. I almost find it entertaining, to be honest. Sometimes it, it, it's, it is annoying, but I don't know. Sometimes I just also feel like it's kind of fun to kill the trash mobs. But I will admit stealth is, is a, nice, a nice benefit to have, but obviously this class doesn't have it. That'll be really OP, to be honest, I'm pretty sure. But I think there's only two different classes that do have stealth. I'm pretty sure the it's uh, the operative, which is a, an imperial agent subclass, and the assassin, and on co and consequently on the other Take on the back. republic side, I think it's the shadow, the Jedi shadow, and the scoundrel, which is a subclass of the smuggler. I think. Like I said, I don't I don't really care for either of those classes on the republic side particularly, but uh, I gotta play them to complete all of the story quests, but I don't particularly like them, really. So, okay, so up here you'll see this guy who is purple, which means we have to do him because we have to talk to him and do his quest line because he is a class mission. Finally you arrive. Hmm. As disgusting as Overseer Harkon said. He's so nice. Regardless, Lord Zash has made it clear that all new acolytes must learn martial skills as well as face their trials. Though why anyone thinks you can be taught is beyond me. Watch yourself. I don't respond well to idiots with big egos. I'm fluttering with fear. Fluttering. Who uses the word find fluttering? The instructors to be in the honest, Academy's archive. Is my question. Sorry. And try not to embarrass your betters. Anyways, we're gonna go see Harkin first and maybe get some XP to level up. I don't know if I'm gonna get a level from that, but um, we're gonna go Hark, do Harkin, do one of his uh, quests, and then we're gonna do, and then we'll do the trainer. <clears throat> so, anyways, let's let's go see Harkin. Oh, I forgot to buy in my rocket boost. Whoops. And we'll we'll do that after. Normally, I have it bound to one of my my keys on my mouse usually but I guess this time I didn't forgot whoops anyways ah the last one always the latecomer now we can see what the hermit thinks of you slime mm. acolyte Cory step forward please you don't want to be singled out yes, by Harkin it's a bad idea because he's you an overseer and weak, he'll kill you <laughs> And even a lunatic like Spindrel can see this. And that means... <gasps> Normally there would be like lightning sound effects and whatever, but I, like I said, I have them turned off. Meet our newcomer, Fawn Alt. This is real Sith strength, and he will tear you apart and crush your bones, slaves. Look on him. No connections left in the world but pure Sith blood. This... This is Lord Zash's future apprentice, not filth like you. Congratulations on your new pet. Now give us the next trial. Step this way, slave. 
I want to speak to you privately. Oh no. The rest of you get out of here. You know your trials. You too, Fawn. Spindrel awaits. So in other words, Fawn hasn't even been to see Spindrel yet. No, listen <laughs> to me. That's nice. Spindrel is a lunatic. His approval means nothing. You are filth, and you will die. Don't be so sure about that, Harkin. Is that clear? You think you scare me? You're nothing, and don't forget it. Now, your second trial. Lord Zash has requested a special trial for you, which you will no doubt fail. Go to Inquisitor Zinn in the jails. He will fill you in on the details, and most likely hasten your demise. Don't count on my demise, Harkon. I don't die easily. Don't boast, slave. I don't want to see you again until you're back from the jails. That's all. Yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, so we get a pair of boots and an XP boost. Well, there's level 4, which is nice. I don't think we'll probably reach level 5 before we need to go to the guys. Oh, I need to find that real quick. Maybe? Potentially? My game didn't crash. Fraps, please! Okay, anyways, there's that. I feel like my audio is gonna be off in post. Cause that's another thing that happens. Sometimes, like, in audio, the audio gets messed up in post, or in, on the, on the clips, so I have to, like, go back through and basically edit commentary. Or I have to recommentate, which I guess I could do as well. It just kind of is more annoying than anything to have to recommentate, because then I have to kind of remember what I was trying to talk about. But, uh, it happens. And then also the in-game sounds sometimes, you know, it's just the way it works. Just the way that Fraps and my computer just doesn't like each other, obviously. It's just because my computer is shit. You've arrived. And not a moment too soon. Harkon has given me very specific instructions. You were raised as a slave, but must discard those traits and learn to control others. And I have just the task for that end. Meet this driveling excuse for an acolyte. He will be your victim. Victim, huh? This sounds like it could be fun. This is not an idle diversion, acolyte. A short while ago, there was what we call an unauthorized murder here an in the academy. An unauthorized murder, which basically alludes to the fact that there's such a thing called an authorized in murder. Death. Interrogate him. But, I mean, I Let guess that's tell you thing. who committed this crime at any cost. Cover your ears. This may get a little loud. Thank you for the warning, but I prefer to cherish every scream. Please, don't hurt me. I don't know anything. Scream, weakling. I want to hear your suffering. Please, don't do that again. I'll do anything. Tell me who murdered the apprentice. I can't do that. I can't. He'll kill me if I tell. Or worse. This better be worth my while. Stop! Please! All right, I'll talk. You'll kill me, but I'll talk. The murderer is an apprentice named Esor Kayan. You have to protect me, or he'll kill me. Not my problem. That's not my problem. Not my problem. No. That's how it always is, isn't it? It's not anyone's problem until there's a lightsaber at your throat. Maybe if I'm lucky, Kayan will put me out quickly. Boop, boop. Okay, let's talk to Zinn. You don't have to tell me I heard the name loud and clear, though I sorely wish I hadn't. Yes or Cain? Cain's master is a dark council member. I'd be a fool to oppose him. But anyway, your trial here is done. I will send my commendations to Overseer Harkon. You may return to him now. What, no more torture? Oh, but I was just getting started. I know, I know, it's so hard to stop once you've started. Perhaps later, if you survive your trials. It has been most pleasant watching you work, Acolyte. Truly, I wish you the best of luck in your remaining trials. 
cool. Anyways, let's go back to talk to Harkin. Um, he's gonna be disappointed that I'm not dead, so, you know, that'll be nice. But I don't know if Zinn would mur even murder me anyways, to be honest. Like, he'd probably just say this, this acolyte is shit, you know, too weak to torture somebody. I don't know. Well, well, well. I had been looking forward to cutting another one of you down, but it looks like I'll be spared the trouble. Unsurprisingly, Nylock has gone missing. Too bad. Also, unsurprisingly, Fon has passed his first trial. It's only a matter of time before he tramples you all underfoot. I love how he points out that I'll Fawn passes his stand, trial, his first slave. trial. Pretty, I'm pretty sure Patience everyone else has to. Like, okay, An accident good for you. in the tombs is much more convincing. Now the lot of you know your next task. Go. I want to speak to Fawn and our latecomer. Now, slave. Zin says you handled yourself expertly, and as much as I find this difficult to believe, Lord Zash is satisfied with his Parker evaluation. Just, just like hates us, Undoubtedly, so that's, that's Zin special. helped you in some way, but you will not have his help on the next trial. Both you and Fon will have trials of intellect, trials that test your ability to apply your understanding of the Force to solve problems. You don't expect a slave to be a match for me in intellect. I've been trained under the greatest teachers. Calm down, Fawn. I certainly do not expect this slave to be a match for you. That's why you will have separate trials. It's okay. I can handle anything Fawn can handle. You're only digging your own grave. Fawn, you will go to the library on the second floor of the academy and translate the following texts for Lord Zash. Whatever trial we get, yes, it's probably going to be a lot more entertaining than going Slave. to the library and translating Deep crap. In the ancient, monster-infested tomb of Marker Ragnos, there is a holocron filled with dark secrets and encased in a great stone monument. No one has figured out how to release the holocron from its stone prison in over a thousand years. You will bring this holocron to me, or you will die. The more you make me hate you, the stronger I become, Harkon. And one of these days I'm going to be strong enough to crush you. You will never be strong enough, slave. You will bring back the holocron, or hope that the spirit of Marker Ragnos himself returns to end your miserable existence. Now go. Isn't he pleasant? Anyways. Let's go see a trainer and get some, get my new abilities. Cause you don't get abilities, um, automatically. Well, there are some that you get automatically that, if you get like active abilities from your pass from your passive tree or your your skill tree from your discipline, you get those without having to go see a trainer. Initially, you have to go to see a trainer to level them up. But yeah, that's the thing. Anyways. We're going, but otherwise you have to go see a trainer, which are scattered. I think there's you. There's usually one At on last, every planet. A I worthy think. disciple. I want to say that there is. Not 100% sure. I think, but like I said, I think there's one on most every planet, if not every single planet. So. Boop boop. Okay, let's head down. Yes, I know I'm not allowed to mount here. But that's one of the nice things about rocket boost is that. It allows you to move at mount speed anywhere, even in places that you're not technically supposed to be able to use your mounts, which is nice. So, anyways, it's one of the one, uh, rocket boost is one of the things that you unlock through your legacy tree. I think my legacy tree is level 40, 45, so I got five more levels to max. It's, I think the, I'm pretty sure the max level is 50. So, anyways. So when you're get, taking a taxi, uh, most of the time it shows you the perp this purple thing, the purple highlight, which shows you where you need to go. But for some, I don't I don't know if this is like a glitch or if it's intentional just to piss people off. But you actually have to go to the lower wilds because the quest tells you take take a taxi to the lower wild, and if you take a taxi to the field research area it doesn't actually fulfill the quest. I, I found that out the hard way. I think it's weird, personally, but that, it, it's a thing. So, anyways, we're just going to take a taxi there, and then that'll fulfill the quest. And then you get to move on in the quest line, and then you can take a taxi to the field research area, and then you can, you know. 
and then you can continue on your quest. It's weird, like I said, I'm not 100% sure, because normally you could stop here, right there, the place that we just passed, but it doesn't fulfill this, this quest, which is odd, in my opinion, at least. I think it's odd. So... Okay, we're actually almost... I think we might get level... 5... Nope, okay. Yep, there we go. Never mind. Got level 5. I think that was the exploration XP. Displaying all authorized we destinations. Can, we can now go there. So we're level 5. Halfway level-wise, not XP-wise, I don't think, but level-wise, we are halfway to... 10, which at 10, obviously, at 10, we get our advanced class. We're gonna go with the sorcerer, as I said, but, um... I think that should be kind of kind of cool. That at that point we get our first lightsaber and all that all that jazz, which is fun, which is awesome. Okay. Um. Okay, we could do this and that. It took only a little bit of fall damage. I normally would have taken a lot more. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Got some junk that we could sell here. These are all products only there as intended. Is this a better... yeah, that's actually a better blade. Cool. It's always nice finding better better gear on the first planet. But, yeah. Anyways, I think we're gonna finish this particular quest, and then go back to Harkin. We'll, we'll turn it in, and then that'll probably be the end of episode one, I wanna say. I've been recording for about 25 minutes. It shouldn't take me too long, it'll probably take me, I want to say this will probably take me another 5 to 10 minutes, and then that'll be about 35 minutes of an episode, which I think is pretty good, and then, you know, I don't, I might back-to-back -back record episode 2 as well, I don't know. What the hell? What did I get? What am I getting attacked by? Too easy. Oh well. Whatever I was getting attacked by... Nico took it took him out. Gonna have to shoot someone, aren't I? I guess that's one of the things about like having a DPS companion is that d your DPS companion can almost take out mobs for you. Can I sneak by? No, I can't. I thought I could. Sad face. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Doesn't hurt to try. Sometimes what? I impressed myself. Oh, like worst case scenario, you have just yeah, you just have to kill him. And um you get some extra XP for it. Okay, I want to go this way so I can kill these acolytes. Boop, and there we go. I finished. Uh, I do. I usually do the bonus mi missions that because you're usually in that area anyways. So at that point, you may as well just just do it. But uh, that's I typically do the kill Nothing X amount personal. of mobs stuff just because, like I said, it typically is worth doing but I won't I you I won't go back and do them but I'll do it I'll usually do them if it's just like kill X amount of mobs because those are pretty easy and you get some bonus XP for it um, like that one just leveled me up so that was pretty nice K just killing some mobs you get the XP that you get from killing the mob and then you also get XP from the bonus quest Ugh, excuse me Holocron's monument bears the mark of many hundreds of unsuccessful attempts to pry it open. I don't really want to break it, but uh, I guess we'll meditate. The power on the of the dark side, side is in me. <clears throat> Which obviously wasn't the right answer, because the monument shudders and beasts come and attack you. There is one annoying thing about this quest. I really Take hope it doesn't that. do it this time. Okay, sometimes this rant, this Tukata Hound is, like, invisible and just doesn't show up until you have to, like, leave the area and then come back to fight him. I'm pretty sure that's a bug. Maybe they fixed it, because it hasn't happened to me the last couple of times I've done it, but it used to, and it was really annoying. The monument remains unopened. Let's just shoot lightning just at open, it. Just damn it. Just force my way into it. The monument shutters and opens, revealing the holocron. So that was obviously the right answer. Well, I'm pretty sure probably if you picked any of any th any of those three options, you probably could have um that probably would have opened it pretty sure, but I don't know. Anyways, we're going to go back to the Sith Academy because it says return to Overseer Harkin. I could go back and defeat the crazed forces for some bonus XP, but again, I don't I'm not going to go back and do them. If it's on the way, I'll do it, but if I've kind of passed the area already, um, I usually won't go back because I don't really think it's I don't think the XP is that worth it. So 
this the the splash screen is actually of the newest expansion, which um, we'll get to in time. I do plan on going through all of the, all of the expansions, but um, obviously we're pretty far off that. You need to be, I think, level sixty. I'm pretty sure is you is when you gain access to that. I think it's I'm pretty sure it's level sixty. I think you, yeah. I don't think you actually have to finish the actual like Yavin four and Makeb and, and Rishi. But uh, typically, you will be doing those before you complete the thing. Anyways, boop boop. Let's talk to Harkin. You better not be wasting my time, slave. You better have the holocron. I got it, buddy. Hmm, a fake. Stolen from the he library, has so much probably. faith in us, too. Like, we'll isn't he later. so nice? Now, I believe it's time for another demonstration. Gur, step forward. Poor Gur. Yes, Overseer. Fon, kill him. With pleasure, Overseer. I don't know what, what like, they think running is gonna do. You may as well just die honorably, because you're probably gonna die. <laughs> Let Gur be an example to you. Fon destroyed him easily, like he will destroy all of you. Are there any other objections? You are only giving us power, Harkon. And your comments are only hastening your death, slave. Now the rest of you know the next trial. Go. You, slave, stay here. Now, slave, you think yourself pretty clever getting that holocron, don't you? I really am the best. Yeah. You are lucky Lord Zash finds you useful. Now, for your trial. The last, darkest secrets of Tulak Horde are buried in his tomb. Lord Zash wants this text. But the final resting place of the dead lord is not easily trespassed. You will not be the first to die there. I will return, and with the text. Do not come back here until you've gotten the text from Tulak Horde's tomb. Out of my sight, slave. He's so nice. I mean, though, I guess in the Sith, you kind of have to be pretty, pretty evil. Anyways, Inquisitor's lower robe. So I guess we get some extra gear. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got. Some, yeah, I'm pretty sure I leveled up a couple of times. No, one time. So we're gonna go grab my new ability. From the trainer, as I think, maybe I got a new one. Do I, is there another one? So it's yeah, I get electrocute. Let's just go grab it. I don't usually use electrocute. Um, I don't generally think it's all that great, but um, especially once you get your discipline, I don't really use it all that often. But let's just grab it anyways, just to grab it, just for the sake of having it. So all right, so we got electrocute. So I'm at about thirty secret shall I share with almost you? thirty five minutes, so I think that is gonna be episode one. I really hope I don't have to recommentate this because that's gonna be annoying, but may have to anyways. It's depressing, but um anyways, that'll be a thing. I think that's about it, like I said, for episode one. I hope you guys enjoyed are enjoying the series. Obviously, um it's gonna be a little bit slow to get started just because obviously with you know, the, within the first couple of planets, it's kind of a little bit boring, but uh, it's kind of like RS. Early levels are typically kind of boring, but once you get into the nitty gritty and like the real, you get more access to more abilities and access to more stuff and you get deeper into your storyline, it becomes a lot more interesting and a lot more fun to watch. So just bear with me through the, throughout this, uh, the beginning of the series, because, you know, it will be a little bit, a little bit boring. So, whoops. It'll be a little bit, a little bit uh, slow to start, but... I think it's um, going pretty well. I think it's entertaining. At least maybe maybe that's just me. But I think it's entertaining. Um, maybe it's just because I'm I'm actually playing. <laughs> Potentially. Maybe that's it. So anyways, guys, I will see you in episode two. Leave a like if you liked it. Uh, you can subscribe if you want. Um, I'm still doing RS content, obviously. But uh, I thought I'd get one of these episodes out. Because it's been about a week, I think, since I uploaded episode zero. So I kind of needed to get this out of the way. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.